Hi guys, well this is it, my best of 2015 video. I'd like to start off this video by wishing Frederick Nordstrom a very happy birthday. Frederick Nordstrom, as a lot of you metalheads know, is a world-renowned produce producer. He is... He was basically the go-to guy in the Gothenburg scene back in the 90s and uh, early 2000s. Uh, he later did bands like Demu Borger, Old Man's Child, Samael, the list goes on and on. You get the point. But anyway, I would just like to wish him a very happy birthday. And even though when this video is posted it will be it will no longer be his birthday because he's in Sweden so happy birthday Frederick and thank you you did, you've done marvelous things on so many albums now I explained before how I'm gonna do this video I initially I was gonna do a do my usual top 10, uh, five, uh, uh, recommendation, five other, uh, I can't remember what I called them right now. I'm drawing a blank. And then my best non-metal album of that year. And then my least favorite album or worst album of that year but thanks to infidel amsterdam i have completely changed the way i'm going to do it and i uh, i'm just going to show you a whole bunch of albums that i thought were awesome in 2015 and then i will show then i i will actually do a top three so that that aspect hasn't changed but every other aspect has with the... Oh, and also, the worst of 2015. I will be doing that as well. 2015 was the year that I took a lot of... Ch that I took chances on a lot of bands. And... Not a... Like, Lamb of God, Black Dahlia Murder, Ghost BC. And let me tell you, none of them paid off. Zero. I didn't like any of the albums... I gave them numerous tries, and I just did not like them at all. So enough of the stuff. Enough about the stuff that I didn't like. Let's go into the stuff that I did like. The first album I want to show you is the newest album by Malevolent Creation, Dead Man's Path. Now there was a five-year wait between this and their previous album. Invidious Dominion, and then when I first heard this, I thought worth every single second of that wait. So, Malevolent Creation with Dead Man's Path. Next album I'd like to show you is uh, an album by one of my top five favorite bands. An album that I was really, really surprised with how good it was. And I'm talking about Slayer with Repentless. And this is the uh, CD plus DVD digipack of that. You've all seen that it unfolds into a cross, so I'm not even going to bother doing it. Sorry. The next album I want to show you is by a, an incredible Dutch death metal band. The Dutch are known for putting out great death metal such as Sinister, God Dethroned, so on and so forth. This one is Body Farm with Battle Breed and in my humble opinion I think it surpasses uh, their previous album The Coming Scourge in many ways shape and form. Uh, I just think they matured a lot as a band and uh, yeah I was very 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 happy with this album. And, uh, yeah, that's all there is to it, I gotta say. Next up is my favorite black metal album of this year. 
and it's called but the band is called Istap, I think, and the album is called Frostbitten. Very cold, very fast Swedish black metal with great clean vocals as well as great distorted vocals. And this album has become one of those, this album is definitely one of those albums that I will only allow myself to listen to when the weather is freezing cold. So it's a good thing I listen to this album a lot. Because the weather is starting to warm up again. Whew. The next album is by a band that has really taken death metal by storm. And I'm talking about Horrendous with, and with a Anaretta. This album surpasses their last one in every way, shape, and form just like the Body Farm did to theirs. Um, just a, a great album. Um, it's more straightforward than their previous, than the album that came out in two, that came out last year, but that doesn't hurt it at all. Horrendous and Anaretta. So, yeah, go check this out. This is great stuff. Next up is, um, was, or is, I should say, a swan song, sadly. And that is Motorhead with Bad Magic. You're not going to get any surprises or any avant-garde crap from Motorhead. You're just going to get straightforward speed metal, and that's what this is. And... If you ask me, they couldn't have gone out on a higher note. So this is Motorhead with Bad Magic. Next up is a band uh, that I that uh, I just recently discovered, and this album is really good, really good modern, real exceptional modern day death metal, and that's Rivers of Nile with Monarchy, and you could tell the kick-ass Dan Seagrave cover art. So, killer job, Dan, and killer job, guys. You really put out a great album, and I hope you guys are going to be around for a while, because you guys really do kick-ass. Next up is a band that I've, that I've had the pleasure of seeing live four times. Uh, one of them was their first time in America as they were on the Apocalyptic Revelations, I think that's the album from 1998, tour. And this is Christian, Forged in Fury. Great album, wonderful production job by Eric Gruden, uh, great song structure, just everything you could want from a Christian album, you get with this. So, yeah. That's all I've got to say about that. You don't really need to go in. <clears throat> Excuse me. To much detail with Christian. Jungle Rot. Order Shall Prevail. Now the first thing I noticed about this, well, with the exception of uh, the fact that I'm friends with James, the bassist, is the artwork. It's done by the same person who does all, all the destruction artwork and the German Panzer artwork, and the Headhunter uh, artwork. So this is Jungle Rot, Order Shall Prevail. Uh, great album, guys. Um, by far the best thing to come out on Victory Records uh, ever. Yeah. So Jungle Rot with Order Shall Prevail. Great groove, a lot of speed, very heavy, Awesome, awesome, awesome job, guys. You really outdid yourself on this album. So, again, Jungle Rot with Order Shall Prevail. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next up, Sulphur Aeon, a band that I recently was turned on to by my good buddy, Infidel Amsterdam. Thanks, Ed. These guys rule. And uh, this is Gateway to the Antisphere. Um, 
I haven't listened to their al- to their previous album yet, but I'm really looking forward to when I do. And I listened to this numerous times, and it's just phenomenal. Great German death metal. Um, yeah, just really great German death metal. That's all I got to say. Now these guys, I had their first album, and I wasn't that impressed with it. But I am impressed with this album a lot and that's death hammer with evil with evil power uh, these guys are on hell's headbangers records uh this is probably the most underground thing in my top 15 list uh great death thrash metal um i think they're from sweden uh if someone knows where these guys are from please Leave the comment on Facebook. I would greatly appreciate it. Next up is uh, what I think is the best EP of this year. And this was another band that I was turned on to by Infidel Amsterdam. And that's Against the Plagues with Extermination Event. It's only got two songs on it. But they're both awesome. Great artwork, uh, I believe it's by Par Ol- Olofsson. Yep, there it is, artwork by Par, Par Olofsson, who is a great cover artist. Uh, if you're not familiar with his work, with his work, um, Malevolent Creation, Invidious Dominion, Immortal, All Shall Fall, so on and so forth. But this, once again, awesome Dutch death metal, and I can't wait to pick up their full length this year sometime. So, Against the Play with Extermination Event, my EP of this year. Actually, you know what? No, I I stand corrected. That is not my EP of the year. Uh, I stand corrected. I apologize, and it'll never happen again. It's going to happen again, but I'll keep, I'll, I'll try my best not to let it happen again. Next up, Nile, What Should Not Be Unearthed. Nile have released a f- never really a bad album, but just, you know, some are better than others. This, in my opinion, is their second best album ever. Uh, e- even beating out Annihilation of the Wicked, right behind Amongst the Catacombs and Efren Ka. This is basically Annihilation of the Wicked 2, and, um, you know, Nile. You know, I think they looked at their fans and said, uh, "Look, you didn't like the you didn't like the the guitar production on at the Gate of Sifu, so you know what? We're just going to kick your ass with this one." So, Nile with what should not be unearthed. Next up is a full length from the band that I have been waiting for since two thousand nine. This band was shown to me by a good buddy of mine, Jewel Throne, and that is Bonar with Cannibal Crematorium. It features Cam Lee on vocals, Raga Johansson, who is the modern day Nick Anderson, if you ask me, was in this band, but he left. But he did write some songs on this album, and the songs that he did write are just phenomenal. The whole album. Well, I shouldn't, the whole album's not really that, the whole album's not flawless, but it's, the songs that are good are really good. So, Cannibal Crematorium by Bonar. Next up is a band that, uh, once again, never released a really bad album, just, well, actually, yes, they did, what am I talking about? Uh, and that's Fear Factory with Genex- Genexus. Um, this album surprised the shit out of me. It really did. Um, my buddy Brian uh, was kind of against it. I hope he's come around to it because uh, this album is just 100% phenomenal. Love it. And it features killer artwork by, An- by Anthony Clarkson as well as a killer mix job by Andy Sneap.
Uh, next up, Skeletal Remains. Now their first album, or I should say, I don't know if it's their first or not, but their previous album sounded so, sounded like something fresh out of Morris Sound Studios. It was awesome, and I was really looking forward to its follow-up, and here it is, uh, Condemned to Misery, and it did not disappoint me at all, not one bit. Uh, Every bit as good as uh, the fir as uh, the more sound studios, the more sound sounding one, but only a different sound, obviously. So, skeletal remains with condemned misery. Next up is a band that um, gets some flack. I like them a lot. And this is another album that I will only allow myself to listen to during only allow, allow myself to listen to when the weather is freezing, and that is Ascension, Ascension Lost by Falcondra. Now a lot of people just call these guys a dissection clone, and they really are. They really are just a dissection clone, but they are one of the better dissection clones to come out recently. Uh Killer Artwork by Necrolord and uh yeah, just a, just an overall great album. Nice and cold, and uh, presented nicely with a nice digipack. So, yeah, it's nice. I like it a lot. Now, you want to talk about a band that has just took, taken, or I should say, taken the death metal world by storm. That would be gruesome with Savage Land. Now this album gets compared to Death's Leprosy pretty much by everyone who listens to it, but I just don't hear it. I really don't. I really don't hear it. Maybe there's something wrong with me. Well, there are definitely something wrong with me. There's something wrong with all of us, but uh, maybe there's something extra wrong with me that I just don't hear the Leprosy comparison. I just don't. But nevertheless, I love the album. It features Matt Harvey from Exhumed Not Vocals, and uh, obviously the killer Ed Repka artwork. And uh, this was released by Relapse Records. Great stuff. Uh, highly recommended if you're into old school death metal. Halloween, a band that has only failed me once. This album is awesome. My God Given Right, not as strong as Straight Out of Hell. Of course, that album was very hard to top considering it's, well, flawless. And, uh, but they came damn close to doing it with this album. And I'm looking forward to seeing them in March of this year or April, whenever that is. And, uh, yeah, this is a uh, Halloween. Once again, you're not going to get anything. You're not going to get any, get any big surprises from Halloween with, with the exception of chameleon, of course. And, um, this straightforward power metal, great stuff. Uh, if you're a fan of Halloween, definitely pick this up. Uh, this album was, uh, was, a, a three year wait. Well, no, not exactly three way because it had an EP in the middle of it, so I'm glad it did. But even if it didn't have an EP, it would still be worth the wait. And that is Grave out of respect for the dead. Now this album is just just amazing. Um they did release three stinkers between this and their pre and their uh, album from 2012, Endless Procession of Souls. But this album pretty much continues exactly where Endless Procession of Souls left off, or I should or should I say Morbid Ascent left off. I don't know. But anyway, Grave out of respect for the dead, another incredible album by Grave, Swedish death metal at its best.
We've reached the top three. We sure have. Uh, my number three spot goes to The Gentle Storm. I love this album. I really, really do. This album was number was my number one pick for the longest time. And, uh, you know, this album is incredible. Obviously, you could tell it, it features the immortal Annika Van Griesbergen on vocals and just an all-star lineup of other of other members from various Dutch bands and the and the uh, killer artwork by my friend Thomas. So The Gentle Storm. This is a two CD that features the music on both. This is this is the gentle side and this is the storm side. The gentle side is more folk oriented while the storm side is more metal so you get the best of both worlds with this album highly recommended pick it up do yourself a favor just pick it up you'll like it i guarantee second or uh, my number two spot goes to a band that i knew would be good fire spawn features the lg Petrov from Entombed AD on vocals, Maddie Moden from X Dark Funeral, X Defleshed, X Non-Exist on drums, and, uh, you know, just straightforward death metal. A lot of people think that LG should have just made this instead of making the Entombed AD album. I don't agree with that at all, because I really liked the Entombed AD album. But either way, this album is just phenomenal. I really don't think there's a bad song on it. I just, it's just so awesome. We've reached the number one spot. My top album from 2015 is from a band that I actually wrote off after hearing their last album from uh, 2013, Raging Death. At least I think that's what it's called. And I'm talking about Entrails with Obliteration. This album is by far their best work to date. And it just, it's just awesome. I love it. I love it all. I love every single song on it. Um, well, not, not the two bonus songs. But I love this album. Definitely my number one spot. Just my number one spot. Just incredible. Flawless. So congratulations and trails. Big props to you. Now we come to the album that's the worst. That was the worst of 2015. And that is Children of Bodom with I Worship Chaos. Now, I had apprehensions about this album immediately when I heard that they were now a four-piece. And my apprehensions were 100% correct. This album, in my opinion, is just awful. Awful, awful, awful. And um, especially considering what came before it, Halo of Blood, I was really looking forward to this album, but I was definitely disappointed. So that's it. My worst album of 2015 was Children of Bodom with I Worship Chaos. Well, that's it. That's the best of 2015. Uh, the videos will get better, as this is my first one, so... Yeah, so uh, the videos will get better, and uh, 2015 was not a good year for me personally, and not really the best of year for metal, in my humble opinion. There were lots of great stuff, there was a whole lot of great stuff, but there was also a whole lot of bad stuff. But you're going to get that with every year, so 
I should just shut my trap. Thanks for watching, and um, we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.